Good morning everyone and welcome back to another week of Kids Church. I hope you're all safe and healthy and you're looking forward to going back to school on Monday. So far, over the last few weeks, we've been looking at the book of Genesis. Do you remember what we've learnt so far? We've learnt that God made everything. Through his word, he made the whole world and it was good. He made people like you and me to rule the world under him. But the people were sinful and they didn't listen to God. Do you remember how the people disobeyed God? They ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, the only tree God told them not to eat from. Do you know why they did this? It was because of sin. Because of their sin, Adam and Eve were banished from the Garden of Eden and a curse was put on the world. In Genesis 4 and 5, we see a few details about what it's like to live outside the Garden of Eden in this cursed world. In chapter 4, we learn about how people didn't always treat each other as they should. Adam and Eve, Adam and Eve's sons, Cain and Abel, are a great example of this. Some of, some of you may already know the story, but for those of you who don't, let's find out. Cain and Abel were brothers who one day came and made offerings to God. Cain made an offering of fruit, which he had grown himself, and Abel made an offering to God of the best portions of his sheep. In verses 4 and 5 we read, The Lord looked with favour on Abel and his offering, but on Cain and his offering he did not look with favour. So Cain was very angry and his face was downcast. What was Cain feeling? He was feeling hatred and jealousy. Jealousy that God loved Abel more than him. In verse 7, God tells Cain not to let this hatred and jealousy and sin take over his life. Do you think Cain listened to God? No, he didn't. One day in a field, Cain killed his brother Abel. Do you think he got away with it? No, God punished Cain by banishing him from the land and cursing him. Like last week though, we, saw, we see God being compassionate and loving. Although he's mad at Cain and he's punished him, he made sure he would be protected from any evil that came his way. Cain didn't treat his brother with love and kindness. Instead, he was overpowered with sin and acted against Abel and against God. In chapter 5, we see another image of the cursed world. Chapter 5 tells us all about the sons and grandsons and great-grandsons and great-great-grandsons and so on of Adam. I'm going to read a small portion of this. While, while I'm reading, can you listen to the words that are repeated over and over? When Adam had lived 130 years, he had a son in his own likeness, in his own image, and he named him Seth. After Seth was born, Adam lived 800 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, Adam lived a total of 930 years, and then he died. When Seth had lived 105 years, he became the father of Enosh. After he became the father of Enosh, Seth lived 807 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, Seth, Seth lived a total of 912 years and then he died. What words were repeated there? That's right, and then he died. Over and over, these words are repeated throughout the passage. People lived for many years, they had a family, and then they died. This is just like what God said would happen when he banished Adam and Eve from the Garden of Eden. He told them they would not live forever. These two realities that we see in chapters 4 and 5 are still true today. People don't treat others well and people die, many of them at old age. During all of this, though, Genesis 4 tells us that people started to call on the name of the Lord. We are to do this today as well. God is the only one who can save us from facing death. 
because of Jesus, we can have eternal life in heaven. And we don't have to face death anymore. But in Genesis, these people were still searching for that serpent crusher that we were told about last week. Throughout the week, while you're at school, hanging out with your friends, I want, to think, I want you to think about how you're treating others. Are you treating them with love and kindness? Or are you treating them in a way that God wouldn't like? Maybe as an activity today, uh, you can spend some time praying to God and thanking him for sending his son Jesus to die for our sins so that we don't have to face death anymore. You can pray that your friends will come to know and love and serve him just like you do. I'm going to pray for us now about some of the things that we've learned today. Why don't you pray with me? Dear God, thank you that even though we cannot meet in person at the moment, that we are able to have this time to read and think about your word together. We pray for all our friends and family who do not yet know you. We pray we will be kind and loving to them so that they can come to know and love and serve you just as we do. Thank you for sending your son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins so, we, so that we do not have to face the punishment of death anymore, but we can have eternal life in heaven with you. Lord, we pray you will continue to keep everyone safe and healthy. We pray that as we go back to school this week, you will keep us safe and help us to learn and have fun at school. Amen.